What's up everyone, it's Zorana on behalf of Traft to tell you all about creating and managing your employees with Traft Service Business Management software. Employees are the ones providing services in your company. You can have as many employees as you need and you can set their unique schedules and track their performance for the next 7 days. But if you are the only one providing services in your company, don't worry, your admin details are used during the onboarding process to create your first employee. Just make sure to connect that employee to at least one service. If you didn't do that during the onboarding process, keep watching this video and find out how it can be done. Ok, so here we are at the Traft dashboard. Let's click the Employees button to see how you can create your employees and manage their schedules. You'll see here that Traft had already added an example employee, suitable for the industry you selected when you signed up. You can click here to edit the employee, or delete it if you decide to add new ones. In that case, make sure to delete the example employee here, Otherwise, the example employee will appear on your booking form. To create a new employee, click the Add Employee button. You will see five tabs with options to set. Under the Employee Info tab, set basic employee details. First and last name, as well as email address, are mandatory fields and cannot be skipped. Please note that there cannot be two employees with the same email address. So if you enter the same address, you will get a red message below the field to notify you that you need to change the address. A short biography or description of your employee that you can enter here will be shown during the booking process and can help your customers decide which employee to choose for the service. You can also add a badge for your employee. Click Manage Badges to define new or edit existing ones. Now, let's say you're operating in multiple locations and you want to set different locations for your employees. You can see that there is no option to set a location for your employee. This is because the location field will only be shown if you create at least one location on the locations page. So let's go and do that now. Click Add Location and fill in the name and the address. You can learn more about locations in Traft in our other tutorials. For now, let's save the changes and go back to the Employee Info section. You can see that the Location field is here now, and you can choose a default one for your employee. It is necessary to select one default location, just in case you don't select any while adjusting the employee's work hours. We'll dive deeper into this in a minute. Now, let's move on to the Assigned Services tab. Here you can see all created services. Choose which services will this exact employee provide by enabling or disabling each of them. You can set a price for each service when adjusting your service settings. If you need your employees to have different prices for the same services, you can adjust that here. This price will apply only to this specific employee. Your employees can also have different minimum and maximum capacities from the one set on the services side. To be able to edit that here, make sure to first enable group bookings for that service under Service Settings. Under the Working Hours tab, you can set a unique schedule for each of your employees. You can see that the default working hours set by Traft are 9 am to 5 pm, Monday to Friday. Click the Edit button and change your working hours here. For each period, you can select different services and one or many locations. Let me give you an example to illustrate all the options you have here. So, let's say I run a small dental clinic with two dentists. They both work 9 to 5 and have the same services assigned. But I also employ a dental surgeon part-time who works only on Mondays. From 9 am to 11 am he is doing dental checkups. Then he has a one-hour break, after which he performs dental surgeries. Here is how I should set his working hours with Traft. Since the surgeon is working only on Mondays, I am first going to disable working hours for all the other days in the week. Then I will click the Edit button and set working hours for the first part of the day. During this period, the surgeon is doing dental checkups, so I'll make sure to select that precise service here. To set his working hours for the other part of the day when he performs surgeries, 
I am going to save this period and add a new one here. The process is now the same. I'll edit working hours for a period after the surgeon's break and select the dental surgery as a service my patients can get during this period. We now have two periods set for the surgeon. But what if your business spreads across various locations and you have the same employees working in multiple locations on different days? Don't worry, we got you covered. So let's imagine another scenario for my dental practice. I run two clinics and my surgeon works in clinic number one on Mondays and Tuesdays and in clinic number two on Thursdays and Fridays. I will simply select location one for Monday and Tuesday. I will turn off working hours for Wednesday and select location number two for Thursday and Friday. And that's it! My surgeon is now available for booking during the given working hours and locations. Truft also lets you configure days off for your employees. Finally, under the Special Days tab, you can add a custom schedule for certain days or time periods. Please note that the Special Days tab under the Employee Settings is visible only if the Special Days custom feature is enabled. If you don't see it, go to Settings, Features and Integrations and make sure the Special Days custom feature is enabled. And here's how this feature works. Let's say my employee will take a one-week professional development course. So during that week, he will be finishing his job two hours earlier than usual. This is how I will set up his schedule for that week using the special days feature. I'm gonna click add special day and then set the date range for which the special schedule will apply. I'll set my employee's working hours here and apply this schedule to all services assigned to this employee. You can choose the location as well if you have more than one, or add as many periods as you need. Always remember to save your changes while adjusting the settings. These were all the options you have to create and manage your employees' schedules with Truft. If you have questions, you can always hop over to Truft.com to learn more. See you next time!